Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus. So today in this video, we will see a new question. This question is also very very important for your placement. And the problem is you remove all the elements which is given by the user. And you have to remove that elements without using extra space. That is, you have to remove the elements in place. Okay. So here is the question given an integer array nums and an integer val. Okay, remove all occurrences of value in nums in place. That is, you have to remove. So, if you see this input format, there is an array and then value. Okay, so the value is 2. So, you can see 2 is present inside this array. So, you have to remove these two from this array and that will be in place. That is, without using any extra space. The relative order of the elements may be changed. Okay, the order of this element may be changed after removing these two. Okay, so do not allocate extra space for another array. You must do this by modifying the input array in place with big of one extra memory. So you cannot use extra space for this problem. Okay, so you can only use this space that is this array with the help of this array and this space. You have to solve this problem okay so now how our output will be five so see here friends so in this area we have to remove all the tools so after removing all the tools there will be zero and then one and then three okay three and then zero and then four okay so here you can see there are five elements so our output will be five okay so this is the problem so how you will solve it if you see here, we have the value and the array. If this value is not equal to the ith element, that is, if this 2 is equal to 0, no, this 2 is not equal to 0, then we will store this 0, okay? Next, we will check if this 2 is equal to this 1, no, then we will store this 1. Then we will check if this 2 is equal to this 2, yes, this is equal, so we will not store this. So, next, we will check if this 2 is equal to this Two. Yes, this is equal, so we will not store it. So next we will check if this 2 is equal to this 3. No, this is not equal, so we will store this 3. Okay, so similarly we will do it for rest of the elements that is for 0 and 4. So our elements will be, so our final elements will be 5 and we will return the count value 5. Okay, so this is a very easy type problem, so let's solve it. So first of all, write the basic format of the C++ that is as include iostream using namespace standard. Okay. So first write the main function here and inside the main function write a vector where we store all the elements that is the input elements. Okay. So vector and then the data type of the vector that is integer. And then the name of the vector which is nouns okay so inside this vector we want to store the elements that is the input elements so let's copy all the input elements from here and paste it here okay so it's done so next is value so int value and we want to remove two okay so here will be 2. So our next test is to write a function where we will do all the operation. Suppose the name of the function is a remove element. Okay. So inside this function, write this vector and the value. So you want to pass this vector and this value. Okay. So now we for this main function, write the same function here and the return type will be integer. So why the return type will be integer? Because we want to return the count, count value. Okay. So for that here the return type will be integer. So int or remove element. So inside this write the vector and then the data type and then write here ampersand and then the new the vector. Okay. The integer value. And inside this function will write a forest loop and extract each and every element from this 
num vector and we'll check this each and every element with this value if these two are not equal then we'll store this inside this vector okay so by doing this we are not using extra space okay so we are using this vector for this operation okay so let's write a for each loop so for auto write your variable here suppose data and then colon and then from where you want to extract data from nums we want to extract data okay now we'll check if this data which is extracted from the vector if this data is not equal to this value so if this is not equal then what we'll do we'll store this data we'll store this data into this nums and in the i position so the initial i position is zero so now we'll store this data into the num of i so nums of i equals to data okay so the data will be stored into the nums of i so after storing the data will increase the position of the i we have extract each and every element from this vector that is zero will be come to these nums and zero will be first to this data okay so in the data there will be zero and why we have right here auto if the data is an integer this will be automatically convert to integer okay so now our data value is zero so now we'll check if the data is not equal value so our value was two so data is zero so zero is not equal to two yes this is true so we'll go inside of this and we'll store the data that is zero will be stored into the nums of i that is i equals to zero so nums of zero so zero will be stored into the zero position that is in this position zero will be stored okay and then we'll increase the i value so see friends by doing this we are not using extra arrays or extra vectors we are using the same vectors okay which was using for taking the inputs from the user so we are not using extra space here so our solution is now in place that is we are not using extra space here so after storing the data we will increase the i value and by doing this this will not affect our original vector okay so in this way we'll do whole the operation and finally we'll return the i value so why we'll return the i value because i indicates the position if we are storing this to the suppose 5 then the i value will be 5 okay finally after this for loop we'll return the i value so just to return here i so this will return the position so now you can see the i is starting from zero so if we so if it go to the fifth position then the i value will be four so we are returning here four but our output will be five so we have to write i plus one that is we have to return i plus one here no friends we don't have to return i plus one here because we have increased the i in this loop okay so in this for loop after every operation we have increased the i value so every time i will be updated okay so if it is a position 5 then it will return 5 so now to print the elements let's write a c out and it will print the result we have used a vector but we have not included it for that right here as include vector okay so code is complete so now let's run it So here you can see our output is 5 then this is perfect output so our expected output was 5 okay so in this way you can solve this problem and the main thing is that we have to solve this problem in place that is without using any extra space okay so you can check this by using another test cases and hope you enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful then please like the video and share it with your friends and if you're not subscribed to this channel then please subscribe it now Okay, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.